Sarkar, the Chief Minister mentioned that this bridge has been supported by Gerakan when Tanda, uh, supported by the Gerakan Party during the uh, JKR Minister Samuelu announced this project way back in the 1999. So, uh, but then the Gerakan leader, including Teng Hock Nam, today's newspaper, uh, deny that they have uh, supported this tunnel. So we have the proof to, to say that they have <coughs> supported the tunnel. Uh. Supported the tunnel in 1999. Uh, even the, we have the date. September of 16, Kosu Kun uh, mentioned that they, they September 16, 916, 1999. Huh? 916, 1999. It was September 16. Kosu Kun explained the initial What did Kosu Kun say? Kosu Kun supported the uh, second link, meaning that at that time it was a uh, half bridge and half tunnel, 7 kilometer. Uh, long from Tanjung Tokong to Butterworth. So, but uh, Teng Hong Nam denied Gerakan supported way back in the 1999. So, we want to clarify that CM said is, uh, is correct. So, that time, uh, we have never they have never mentioned about the subway. It's all on the, this, this, this side. Even some they have, the reporter also mentioned when this being constructed, it not only you benefit the local people but also you boost uh, to the tourism sector as one of the products. Uh. So he, I think Teng Hong Lam too old already. I uh, can't remember what he has during 1999 mentioned. <laughs> that even um, uh, uh, former Chief Minister Tan Sri Kho Sukun has mentioned not only one time, many times, including when they have a press night on the 2000 January also, this uh, second link definitely going to be carried out. No longer a dream. No longer a dream. Uh, it's not a, a dream for United people. Why did this second link come out? It was because in 1995, uh, BN uh, defeated the opposition, including the AP, uh, uh, in <coughs> landslide. So the AP only left one seat at the time. That's why the Mahate uh, asked Kozukun what they want. So Kozukun mentioned they want a, a bridge. That's why this came about after 1995 election. So they have been talking about this second link from uh, so many years until they decided to change from the north to the west. The south. The south, yes. Yeah. Southwest. Uh. So this is proof that they are trying to twist what they have uh, uh, mentioned over, over uh, trying to criticize whatever uh, Chief Minister mentioned that they want to do this uh, for this uh, benefit of the local Kenai people. And this definitely is good for to stop our, our traffic congestion, not only the tunnel, but we also have the train expressway to be carried out. Uh. So this is the proof. There are many also I did this to brought this field. I can remember before the election, they used this uh, second link to be the campaign uh, propaganda for that time. And now you can see over 10 years, the second link, second bridge is now almost completed only. So, but the, 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 one, the one they supported initially. Yeah, initially, that's why I said, then the government, government changed their mind. Don't ever say you never supported. <laughs> It was decided to be, to be built in the south for political reasons.
That was also, I think, four or five years later, after 1999, then only they decided to move it to Southwest. Not during 1999 or 2000. So that all the time they are fully supported this project. The tunnel bridge project on the north. So northern link. Now there are so many links. What the CM say in the forum that when Sami Value uh, announced this project at that time it was the second link uh, no? because the second link is now built in the southern portion of the island you can see that Kosukun supported fully the second link which is the link between Gurney Drive and Bagan Gemma so when the CM say how come when Sami Velu announced this second link which consists of a tunnel and a bridge the Rakan did not uh, objected to it because these are the testimony that Gerakan did not object to it. But a Gerakan youth member uh, shouted that uh, Gerakan never supported this and called the CM a liar. So I think it, it is uh, too long, uh, this happened too long for youngsters like him who may be just a uh, primary student uh, to, to, remember, to remember what their leaders have done. Kau Sukun supported the second link and he said this is the second link at that time was only part of the transport solution. It's not the solution as even today we are also saying it is not the solution, it is part of the solution. And then uh, lower down, it will definitely be implemented but finally it was implemented at the south portion of the island. Uh, by building a bridge and not of course a, a bridge and a tunnel because the tunnel was proposed, all of you know, is because of the, the sea channel that served the uh, Penang port. No bridge can be built there unless it is a very high you know, structure. So for that portion that the, the ocean liner has to pass, it is definitely a, a tunnel. So that's why that proposal was to have a tunnel, link it to the island, and from the Gurney Drive, you build a bridge to the to the island to connect to the tunnel. So basically, I think the whole issue is uh, there was such a project, Garakan supported it, and we not we did not make this allocation a war allocation against them. But now they deny that they have ever uh, supported this uh, project and shouted. <coughs> Yesterday I was very uh, on a soft tone. Uh, <laughs> I uh, said that uh, the Gerakan has accused, especially Tung Changel, accused that uh, this tunnel project is an afterthought uh, uh, where the uh, master plan does not have this project. So I show briefly, uh, and it was only captured by Millennium. So I, uh, Millennium, the picture. Uh. <laughs> 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 That's why you never take picture. <laughs> so I just want to uh, take this opportunity to also show uh, that it is definitely in the transport master plan. Maybe a few years early in terms of planning. 